Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is a fictional character from the Transformers franchise. Optimus Prime is consistently depicted as having strong moral character, excellent leadership, and sound decision-making skills, and possesses brilliant military tactics, powerful martial arts, and advanced alien weaponry. Optimus Prime has a strong sense of honor and justice, being dedicated to building peaceful and mutually beneficial coexistence with humans, the protection of life, and liberty of all sentient species. As the current matrix of leadership bearer, Optimus Prime is the de facto leader of the Autobots, a faction of the transforming species of synthetic intelligence from the planet Cybertron. The Autobots are constantly waging civil war against a rival faction of transforming robots called Decepticons. According to Bob Budiansky, co-writer of the Transformers series, Dennis O'Neill was responsible for his name. Animated Character Biography Optimus Prime is usually depicted as being a member of an ancient Transformers race called the Dynasty of Primes, often receiving the title The Last Prime in many stories, in which he is depicted as being the last of the Primes. In the Transformers, Covenant of Primus, it was established that Optimus Prime was the last born of the original 13 Transformers. It was his unique spark and his inspiring reassurance that, all are one, that allowed the Primes to rally and succeed in their battle against the Chaos Bring a Unicron. When tragedy, at last ended the era of the Primes, and brought forth a new race of lesser descendant Transformers he alone chose to be reborn in the Well of All Sparks as one of them, that he might know them and the needs more completely. All memory of his past life gone, he took the name, Orion Pax, and sought his way like any other robot on the New World becoming Optimus Prime once more. When receiving the Matrix of Leadership when Cybertron faced a new enemy in his former friend, Megatron and his army of followers, the Decepticons. This brings a great war to their planet of Cybertron. Optimus' origins and personality can vary depending on which universe he is seen in. This origin is the most consistent between the various incarnations. Further differences are listed in the respective sections below. Generation 1 the first generation Optimus Prime transforms into a Kenworth K100 cab over truck. Within his chest is a mystic talisman, known as the Autobot Matrix of Leadership or the Creation Matrix, carried by all Autobot leaders. When Optimus transforms, his cab disconnects to become a sentient robot, and his trailer opens to reveal an ion blaster. Forming a combat deck, the combat deck supports a mobile battle station and command headquarters armed with assorted artillery and beam weapons that fire automatically. The combat deck can also serve as a radio antenna for battlefield communications between the Autobots. The combat deck also included Roller, a mobile scout buggy meant to scout behind enemy lines. When Roller is deployed, Optimus can see and hear what Roller sees and hears. Injury to one component is felt by each of the others. If the combat deck Roller were to be destroyed, Prime could survive. However, despite the slight degree of autonomy they possess, the combat deck and Roller would not be able to survive without Optimus. In the animated series, Optimus is able to fire short-range optic blasts, project holographic maps, and deploy hydrofoils, designed by Wheeljack, to traverse bodies of water with ease. In the animated series, Optimus was also given the ability to retract his right-hand unit and replace it with a glowing axe. Across the assorted continuities of the original Transformers universe, 
There have been various interpretations of Optimus Prime. One of Prime's most notable characteristics overall continuities is his unswaying commitment to leadership by example. The animated series version of Optimus Prime is depicted as a straightforward, wise, and upbeat battlefield general. Additionally, the animated series version of Optimus dislikes rap music, putting him at odds with music-loving characters like Blaster and Jazz. In the Marvel Comics series, in addition to these characteristics, Prime is secretly plagued by self-doubt and a conflicted sense of pacifism that often makes him an extremely reluctant warrior. Originally, Optimus Prime was created as the Autobots' leader, though it is unknown if he was created to his origins. In a possible future, Megatron was threatened by the existence of the Aerial Bits and had Shockwave build a time machine to send them back in time to get rid of them. However, he only ended up changed history. For the better, in the revised timeline, Optimus Prime began his life as a robot named Orion Pax. A mostly defenseless dock worker during the Golden Age of Cybertron 9 million years ago, with a girlfriend named Ariel and a best friend named Dion. During this time, a new breed of robot, with new flight capabilities appeared on the planet that Orion idolized. When Megatron, the leader of the new group of robots, approached him, with inquiries about using one of the dock warehouses, Orion was swayed by Megatron. Both Orion and Ariel were severely wounded when Megatron and his forces attacked in order to claim the energy stored there, searching for someone to help them. The time-displaced Ariel Bits took Orion and Ariel to the ancient Autobot Alpha Trion, who used them as the first subjects for the new reconstruction process he had developed involving rebuilding the frail Autobot frames into more battle-hardy configurations. With this reconstruction, Orion Pax became Optimus Prime, the first of the Autobot warriors. Optimus took the mantle of leadership as the civil war against the Decepticons erupted, and would remain in that position for the next nine million years. Ariel was rebuilt into Elita One, the commander of the Autobot resistance on Cybertron. The fate of Dion is left unrevealed. It has been speculated by fans that Dion might have become Ironhide or Ultra Magnus just as Orion and Ariel became Optimus and Alita, but this remains fan speculation only, and his close friendship with Optimus notwithstanding, there is no evidence to support the idea. As leader of the Autobots, Prime headed up their mission to search for new sources of energy to revitalize the depleted Cybertron. Optimus vowed to Alita that he would return from his mission for her, but just before the launch of the Ark, Optimus was mistakenly led to believe that Alita was killed. Shortly after its launch, the Autobots' craft was attacked by the Decepticons' space cruiser, the Nemesis, and boarded by Megatron and the Decepticons. In the ensuing struggle, the G-forces of a nearby planet pulled both craft down and the Autobots' ship crashed into a volcano, thrusting all the occupants into emergency stasis. Four million years later, in the Earth year 1984, a volcanic eruption jarred the ship's computer. Teletron I, back to life. The computer reactivated the Decepticons, programming them with new Earth-based disguise modes. As a parting gesture, Starscream fired upon the Autobot ship, creating a landslide. The vibrations from that landslide knocked Prime into the path of the computer's restoration beam, restoring him to life, thus beginning the war anew on Earth. Over the course of the next 20 years, the Decepticons succeeded in seizing control of all of Cybertron, forcing the Autobots to operate from the new city on Earth in two bases on Cybertron's moons. In the Earth year 2005, Prime 
stationed on Moon Base 1, dispatched troops to Earth to acquire energy for an upcoming strike on Cybertron. The Decepticons, however, got wind of the plan and used the shuttle run to attack Autobot City. A distress call summoned Prime and support troops to Earth. In the fearsome ensuing fight with Megatron, Optimus Prime sustained fatal injuries, but not before turning the tide of battle and forcing the Decepticons to flee. Despite the efforts of Perceptor, Optimus Prime went offline after passing the Matrix and role of leader to Ultra Magnus. The Matrix fell into the hands of Galvatron and was finally taken back by Rodimus Prime. Optimus' last words were, until that day, till all are one, while the Transformers animated series came to an end in America in 1987 after the rebirth, production was continued in Japan with three new exclusive animated series spin-offs to continue the story. The first of these series, Transformers, the Headmasters, supplanted the events of the rebirth. With the Decepticons defeated, the Autobots entered into an even closer relationship with Earth. The Autobots also began the colonization of other worlds, the first of which was the planet Athenia, where Optimus Prime was stationed. It soon became apparent, however, that the consequences of releasing the energy of the Matrix to cure the Hate Plague were more far-reaching than Optimus had anticipated. Without the energy of the Matrix to act as a balancing factor, Vector Sigma had become destabilized. The Decepticons suddenly returned to exploit this, assaulting Cybertron in order to seize control of the Mega Computer. Prime took a squad of troops to aid in the battle on the planet. When the arrival of the Autobot Headmasters tipped the battle in their favor, Prime broke off from the main attack and headed down into the depths of the planet planning on stabilizing Vector Sigma at any cost. While the other Autobots searched for the Matrix on Earth, Optimus Prime searched for Vector Sigma, guided through the dangers of the planet's catacombs by the spirit of Alpha Trion. Prime eventually arrived at the computer, only to find his way barred by Cyclonus and Scourge. At that moment, Hot Rod arrived with the Matrix, the same with which Alpha Trion merged, re-energizing it. The Matrix transformed Hot Rod back into Rodimus Prime and, for the first time, the two Primes fought side by side and defeated Galvatron. Before Rodimus could implement the Matrix to stabilize Vector Sigma, however, Optimus Prime merged himself with a computer, restoring its balance to save the planet. Optimus Prime sacrificed himself, dying again only a few short episodes after his rebirth. Later, Prime would make a final and permanent return in the Japanese Transformers continuity. Battlestars, Return of Convoy. This entry was only available in print appearing in the TV magazine, a Japanese publication. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.